here at Maryland's 100th anniversary reception, all time great, Buck Williams. Welcome back to Maryland land. What's your best memory of playing on that floor that you see the baseline behind you? Oh man, there's so many. Uh, I never forget the ACC tournament, you know, playing against Duke. Uh, it kind of sticks out at me. There's been so many rivalries we had over the years. It was nice to be a part of it. What's it like when you come back and get to see so many familiar faces, whether it's, you know, people you played with or, or younger, that you just have that Maryland connection? Well, you know, it's so special, you know, because really since my career started, and, you know, with Albert King, Greg Manning, Ernest Graham, and me, a lot of uh, memories there. And they're very fun memories. And uh, I was just very fortunate to have an opportunity to play with those great athletes at the University of Maryland. What was your secret to be able to play with the biggest of the centers in ACC at your size? Well, you know, when I first started out, I was undersized, I was power forward, playing in center position. And really, it was the best thing that happened in my career because we had a chance to against players like Mike Jaminski and the big kid down at Clemson, uh, you know, Larry Nance. I was really phenomenal players and Ralph Sampson and really kind of made me uh, my career in college. And everyone goes back to the sort of infamous games against uh, Ralph Sampson. Uh, that's where I got an opportunity to play the NBA, just playing against guys like Ralph Sampson and Mike Jaminski. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301 251 2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. What is this at March? You can hit March. Does that, you know, make your well, you know, it's two times of the year my body started itching. You know, that's Mara Madness and, and then also right into June with the NBA Finals. So, you know, it's a very special time, March Madness, a lot of great memories. And for every college player that ever played college ball, you know, they'll sit back and recline and always think about Mar Mad uh, March Madness. Yes, I do. I watch them some. Uh, a very young team, with a lot of potential. and. I'm hoping that they'll kind of put it together, you know, coming down the stretch and, and really do well in uh, the playoffs. You guys have a young team you started. Yeah. You came to your before. Okay. Yeah, I came to the after Yes. Is it, do you think it's still hard to play as such a young team? Or do you think it's changed Well, it's always difficult to play with a very young team because you have to learn how to play and how to win close games. And I've seen that that Maryland had some, you know, tough times, you know, closing games out. And that's what he expected when you have a young team. Uh, but I think, you know, each year they've gotten better, and hopefully as these guys mature and understand how to close games out, I mean, they're going to get a lot, a lot better. But, but right now, a lot of potential, a lot of excitement, and, and a very encouraging future for the University of Maryland basketball. What magic words did Lefty use to recruit you out of North Carolina up to Maryland? Well, you know, I always tell the story about Lefty and Drizel. I always thought he was coming out to recruit me for my talent, but he really was coming out to get, eat some barbecue in all North Carolina. Everybody knows that Lefty loves barbecue. So I thought I was a high recruit, but I found out later just coming out to get some uh, North Carolina barbecue. But you no, know, Lefty is very persistent. Uh, you know, Dean Smith recruited me. I just felt that Lefty really wanted me more, and I felt, you know, a home here in Maryland that I never felt in North Carolina. Was there any secret to the number 52? Well, seven has always been a great number. Our number's been great for me. You know, Michael Jordan had five. You know, two and three is five. So 52 really uh, was a very special number for me, and I've used that number, you know, for the rest of my career. And and I just felt it's always been a lucky number for me. All right, thank you. This is Mason Miner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast.